Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Lab of Legends. Let us play as... Today will be exciting day. Brom. I got a lot of requests for Brom, so let's go with Brom. Oh, my God. I mean, like... I, I feel like we have to, right? Starting the game, getting an extra empty mana gem means that we start the game, like, just straight up ahead of the enemy. I mean, yes, this is interesting... It's good, but honestly, we would prefer the opposite, if anything. Bringing up our attack to meet our health, because Braum would be very nasty if he immediately became a 5-5 with the ability to pull an enemy to him and regenerate at the end of every turn. That'd be nasty. Uh, let's go with Mana Flow, because it just goes with everything. It just goes with literally everything. There is no... Uh, someone will correct me. I can't imagine that there's a build that gets worse... <laughs> by having an extra mana gem right away. I have no idea what deck in the game that could possibly be, but who knows? I, I, I could be wrong. I feel like a lot of the times, one of the issues... Oh, boy. <laughs> Quite the mulligan there. Uh, one of the issues with this mode... Oh, fine. Not and ready. I made a mistake. Uh, I, I, yeah, I was going to say, I, <laughs> I realized my mistake right there. Uh, but oh, well. Oh, well, because we, we attack with this, we just sacrifice trade, whatever. Uh, but one of the issues with this mode is the fact that... Oh, we're fine. Uh, is the fact that I feel like I, I, I a lot of times have issues getting started in a, in a fight. Like, you know, I feel like there's not a lot of great options in a lot of the decks for immediate play. Like, immediate play. They, they give you... You have such a small deck, and they... Within it, they still give you the tools to, like... I don't know. To, to be end game. Like, I, am I going to use the Wild Claw? Maybe. I may get to end up using... I, I probably will end up getting to use it, but probably just because, like, my mana is... Yeah, whatever. Uh, my mana is up. You know? And the fact that we don't really have any clean overwhelm or direct damage or anything like that. So we're just going to be slowly getting chipped off by these guys until something changes there. You know, we could look <laughs> at Ice Veil vale Archer. One of them, I guess. Or we could just put down you, get ourselves set up for next turn. All right, well... Now we need this guy. Uh, I, I want him to attack so that we can trade off, because otherwise, uh, I don't know quite what we're going to be doing with that. I will happily do this trade. I will happily do this trade. And then... Does he have a direct kill in this deck? He might. He might. He doesn't have it now, I can tell you that much. But, alas, alas. We'll do that. We probably should have even saved it up for the, uh, the Alpha Wild Claw. They were going to play here. So I'm really happy that we do have the Alpha Wild Claw. So we actually have uh, very direct damage. We've got a really good, a really, really good card for uh, attacking on the enemy's turn or for uh, getting clearing out their board on their turn there. What do you got? Okay. Completely understandable. Completely understandable. I, I would say if that kill card is in their deck, which I can't remember if it is, the seven mana just kill a unit. Uh, if it does exist in their deck, uh, oh well. <laughs> but we have Avalanche. We will uh, we will make their day bad. I hope they play a card, and knowing their deck, I don't know why they wouldn't. I feel like they have another card too, right? Let's let's go for it. Let's go for the big play. He's gonna summon another unit, right? Okay, well, yeah, well, weird target. Absolutely very weird target. Because uh, that man is getting stronger. I'm going to do it. I know he probably has uh, something he can attack with. But I'm just not too worried about it. We have the uh, we have the Alpha Wild Claw. And he was out of units. Okay. That was a good gambit. Good gambit. I'm actually surprised with how long it took us to get uh, two units on the board. I'm surprised <laughs> that we only took one little bit of chip overflow damage certainly certainly bizarre and if we would have just uh passed the turn so that he would play his spider before i played my unit we could have gotten away 
No, I don't think we would have. Yeah, I think we actually we could have gotten away with taking no damage. I, I bet. I bet we could have arranged that. All right. So, what what is the nature of our deck right now? It. Th I mean, there's like not really one. It's just kind of like a control all around. It's like a, a mid range balance kind of a deck. Nothing. There's nothing wild about it. Grant damage ally. Like there's there's something kind of leaning towards taking damage, but it being okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I could see. I could see. I could see Tarek working, Mister Tarek Tarek. One one and spell shield. Give me and my support ally tough for this round. Copy the last spell you cast on me onto that ally. I feel like it's either re-roll or go for this. I'm going to go for that. I think that we can make that work. I think we can make that work. Uh, by potentially getting Tarek, 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 Mr. Rick, <laughs> Mr. Terry. We can maybe buff up Terry with a good old, you know, damage units get plus, plus, whatever, whatever. Uh, you know what's awesome? Is this. We're going to draw something that gets plus two, plus two, just naturally. And they have uh, nothing they can do about it. Which is good because we are going to need... Do I want to Frostbite the Mist Raid? Because I want him to attack with it, kind of, right? That's the weird thing. Oh, it's Terry. Oh, my God. He doesn't even have anything? Okay, fine. I, I'll play I will play a Ice Veil Archer not utilizing its effect. Um Man, do we just like go for it? It's five damage. We can almost kill. Give me and my support ally tough. Fine. Don't worry. I am here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, plus two and and tough is the uh, the big thing. So I think we go for this. The order we pick them up, by the way, when you do this, the order you pick them up is uh, makes it go from left to right. So since I want to support him, I just go whoop. Look sharp. Uh, alright. In theory, he gets, yeah, he becomes a 3-3 with tough. I think we're, he's got to block Mr. Terry, which is, unfortunately for him, not, not that helpful for board control. When you have to make a, when you have to make a block like that, you know you've already, you've already kicked the bucket, basically. Grant an ally, plus three, plus three, just straight up. Uh, okay. Do I want to protect? Th I mean, this doesn't matter. Like, he's, yeah, he he's already lost. We he's a mist wraith deck, and he hasn't played a single mist wraith. Poor guy. Uh, here's the thing. He probably has the uh, four mana burst spell. That lets him play a Mist Wraith. So we honestly might be better off getting yet another unit out here. Oh, you piece of garbage. Ah, you pizza garbage. Dazzling. Yeah. Well, My arrow won't miss. he has to block the six damage guy. I mean, Unyielding. this, you know, it's fine. I can't put this here because I know he's going to block with the four anyways. That's enough for overkill. None of this should matter. This is the thing. None of this should actually matter. I don't think we have any direct damage, but we might draw our Overwhelm card. I am a Psychic. Hello. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we could have avalanched. Yada, yada. Yada, 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 yada. Why I yada? I don't think he has any way that he can kill me with three mana as Shadow Isles. I'm pretty sure. All 
right, give me a buff. Hey, that's just that's just for fun. This is just a style on him. Big number, big number. And we, uh, for good measure, we also level up. We level up, Mr. Terry. My support and ally and I can't take damage this round. Oh boy, copy the last spell you cast on only me. It can't be copied again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, screw you. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That's that's what's hilarious. Like our big boy, uh, our big boy Terry, getting insta killed. Didn't even matter. I gotta say, this starting one man ahead, uh, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of busted. And by that, I mean it's very busted. <laughs> it's very busted. All right, what do we get now? Plus four, plus four, but cost two more. When I'm summoned to draw one, attack, attack, nab one. Let's steal a card from the deck. I just, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. None of those are that exciting. Uh, okay, so Phage is a good idea. Challenger is a pretty good idea. Ooh, cha ooh, oh, e ooh, that's tough. Uh, giving Brom Phage is also re really, really tempting. Um, rarely tempting. So that he has attack from the get-go. 2-7. 2-7 with uh, regen and a pull is pretty, pretty nasty. It's actually very, very nasty. Alright. Alright. This is the first time I'm actually going to give my base unit uh, a buff there. Give all allies plus two, plus two, and overwhelm this round. That sounds kind of nice specifically with uh, this, this mode in mind. But this guy, Mentor of the Stones, is just like, it's just such a valuable card. This is a very competitive card, as, from what I remember, uh, playing ranked. Uh, it's, it's just kind of, yeah, it's kind of... Last Breath, create three gems. Gems are very valuable. This card seems like it's um, silly boy value. Absolutely silly boy value. Uh, and things like this, I feel like, really just come down to how can you get... How can you get raw value in numbers? Either A, you need such a broken strategy that drawing a single card will just win it for you. Or, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Um, fine. Or you just need, like, very, very, very consistent value on everything. And right now, we have, we have really consistent value by nature of, um, I don't know. He, I think he starts with a one drop. No, okay. Okay, so that's not scripted then. Good. I, I, I'm I glad. Somebody was telling me that it was scripted. They always had certain cards in their starting hand, stuff like that. Uh, the spider always has a spider in their starting hand. That is true, if, if that is what was um, what was meant by that. They're going to attack with this if I don't do something. Let's just, uh, just make it so we don't have to worry about it, right? It's going to die anyway. Gonna turn into something else unless we would get a trade off. Play kill an ally to summon two saplings. I would consider that a uh, a very poor trade. Uh, okay. So it's basically mentor the stones or Mr. Terry. I think we want to get Mr. Terry out there. Uh, issue being, the hell are we going to block with? I just. Or, or what are we gonna buff up? Because this is a death. He's going to die to this. He's going to trade into that. He might trade this one for one because he. Actually, that's fine. That's fine. We need to be aggro. We need we need to be aggro here. This is ideal. We want him to have no no units on the board because as soon as he gets a unit on the board board, he starts to get uh, on the board. Um, Vaults of Helia will start to ramp up its value up towards Thresh. He has a guaranteed Thresh on turn on turn five. Well, he got somebody anyways. On turn five here for him. 
he will get that value. He will get that value. Um. I'll just, I'll just nullify that, right? Why would I worry? I would like to save this. Uh, you know what? Let's um, let's be a little bold. We'll block with Mr. Terry, so that we can give him the plus three plus three on damaged, if we happen to draw it. I know it's a unlikely maneuver, but it could happen. This is annoying. I hate all these cards that do direct nexus damage in this mode. So many years, so much oh. Support, grant my supported ally plus two plus two. If it has support, can grant its supported ally plus two plus two. Woo, I'm baby. About gems. <laughs> I can see that. Be nice. Okay, so this should be like Stay focused. bonkers. Celestial power. I'm also here. <laughs> there we go. I mean, this is this is pretty nasty. Do they have a kill card? Revive a random ally that died this round. I mean, they they blocked the big the big hits, but um. Wait. Oh my God! This is permanent. I forgot that. Th I forgot that this is permanent. So. Everybody here just got plus two, plus two forever? Oh my god. This card is so good. I, for I forgot how good it was. Uh, I mean, it is a five drop, and like the reason it feels like we were able to play it so early is because we were. I still haven't even played this that has my Omen Hog value. Let's put down um, our stinky, stinky big boy wolf, because that should kind of just guarantee that we... Uh, do a win here. It must be perfect. Hands up now. Okay. The All right. We'll just give this spell shield directly here. There is nowhere left to go. Twelve damage. I mean, it's like what? What? What could you do? I don't need to like. I could rearrange this so that it's slightly better. But why would I worry? We have a twelve, a twelve, eleven with spell shield. He can't do anything to it. Oh my god, this deck so far. Oh my god. We didn't even draw Brom. What the hell? I think I've seen Brom once, and I don't think I've ever put him on the board. This is a Tarek deck. I don't know why I even buffed up Brom. What was I thinking? Start of the game, draw one. I mean... Created cards. I don't think we create any cards. Well, we create gems. Those cost one. But I don't think we have... No, we don't have any other things. Raise my health to match my power. Who is that really going to be that good for? It's it's not that important. Um, Start of the game, draw one. If anything, that's what I'm thinking right now. Just to... Fine. It doesn't seem like a big thing, but I, th I think it is. Give an ally plus one, plus zero, and quick attack this round. Uh, it's a good buff for Tarek. Terry. For the rest of the game, allied buffs except barrier are permanent. Oh, uh, that sounds fun. Is it good? Ah, we'll see. We'll see. It's very fun. That's a very fun idea. It's a five mana 
delay, though. So if you can't keep up tempo, that's a problem. If you can't keep up tempo, that's going to be a problem. Brom! Okay, this, though... This, though, is such a god-tier opener. Two Omen Hawks on turn one is disgusting. Because that is, uh... That's plus four, plus four worth of value across the next cards we draw. If we draw Brom... Oh. If we draw Brom, that's, uh... That's gonna be very, very funny. Uh... Alright, well... Nothing to do there, really. Come on, I'd love to draw a champion with plus two, plus two. Please, 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 please. Ah. Uh, um. Really, this is the thing that does make sense. Okay. Because he's going to go back up. You can go back up to full at the end of this turn here. We get the 3-3 three, three Poro when he takes damage the first time. Uh, which is also... I forgot about that. That's really good. Did they buff that? I feel like they added that at some point. Because normally that's only part of his secondary thing. Oh, boy. <laughs> just a little just, farther. That's, just, that's just good. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> what are you doing? I don't have a way to kill his large warding stones. I, I mean, I guess that's just fine. Like, what am I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pop anything just to save him. Doesn't feel very smart. All right, now we begin. The memes. Oathbreaker. Indeed, I am both. It doesn't. I mean, it's not that. That's not that good right now. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I forgot. Oh yeah, we do draw a card as well. Hip hip hooray. Uh, so we're definitely doing this. Hands up now. What is he up to? He's up to four. I guess we're pulling the warding stone. Yes. And then we don't want to put anything else out because the three mana would just be blocked by this. Or the three HP would just be blocked by that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. But this... uh. This barrier, or the 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 tough theoretically is permanent. That's really helpful. Da 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 da. So we can just continually just keep giving tough to somebody else, I guess. Took the bait. Wait, does this is this permanent? That might be that might be permanent. That's so funny. All right, uh... You know... <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Let's kill everything. I'll kill it all. Goodbye. Yes, yes. I am frightened, yes. Okay. So we'll put on this, so we'll pass that on as well. Oh, should have definitely put on that instead. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, rip. I'm going to yank you over so that we can save you with this. Okay, five, five. Yeah, this is... This is bonkers. I, I probably should have just gone the full route and, um... 
Should probably gone the full route and made it so we had the dang bull el elnook. Can we kill? No. Alright. <clears throat> so I'm super curious to see if this... This new support thing is going to remain true. Bring it on! You fool! You fool! Uh, tough kind of makes it so Braum has a harder time. What? I mean, should I just like let it happen? Like, why would I? I whatever. It's annoying, but okay. Okay, we should be fine right now. All right, T then. Whoop, whoop. I'll take, let's see. This should be fine, right? Like we should just we shouldn't have to worry, I don't think. Spell shield blocks Yeah. All right. I can I can do this as a retaliation. Alright, didn't matter. In that case, I'll make you die via that. Just for the fun of it. Goodbye. Just to clean this board up even more. Uh yes. Brom, we gotta make this clear. This is this is not your deck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This deck is Tarix. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Okay, frostbite an enemy with three or less health. We can make that a zero cost. Nightfall, give an ally elusive. I don't really care. Plunder, cast cannon barrage six times and randomly target enemies. I don't really care. The barrier is good there. Um, This is just, this is good enough, I guess. Quick, gives, gives Tarek quick attack. Uh, Yeah. I don't want any of that other garbage, so sure, fine. I'll give him quick attack. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. This is actually probably fine. Like, we... Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's something to be said for sure about just trying to uh, fish out the 1-1 one, one birds because getting that value right away is really, really nice. The winter's claw strikes. To Do you have the buff? He does not. Good. 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 What do you got? Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I. First we fight. Ha! This is fun. Yes? I suppose that's fine. We get two damage out anyways, and then Brom starts to stack up his passive. And then he can't. He can't counter counter buff anything and then we get ourselves the mighty poro just for free there uh, oh spell shit well hello there mentor of the stones is kind of bad here wow okay so you're just doing that right away Pretty bold. You are a 
What's happening here? Do you have the two HP buff? Again? Do you have another one? No. Okay. I yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. I didn't. I don't lie it, but it's fine. I'm putting this on Braum before he gets uh, all restored up to full, because we won't be able to cast it then. Alrighty. All right, Braum, it is your time. So. I could have put Bastion on. Yes, I could have done Take Heart as well to, to get three more damage out. But the thing is, we need to use it as... I, like, I don't want to say the word, word surprise because it's a robot. But I think you know what I mean. Uh... not a lot of like there's not a lot of reason to be doing this here other than the fact that nothing else that we have i think is going to really wow me anyways so that's really just it all right so this is now permanent that's really like the biggest thing that's changing here what are you why Flee now, or you are you are why terrible i hate you I, I i certainly do hate you But we don't have. We do not have the ability to kill you with one defensive maneuver. Which sucks. But we're always going to have Brom. I don't think he has any direct removal in his entire deck. So I think that as long as we keep Brom thick and chunky, I think we're fine. I think we are fine in that event, then, really. Stand behind Brom. The fight never ends. We like a challenge. Yeah. All right. Come so the good news is we should probably just win this turn. Oh, that's right. We get one of these every every time now. Hey! I do wish I could deal damage to you. Alright, so we should be fine to kill. Sometimes I see heart just needs warm spot. Okay, so... What, it, what, what even matters here? Why would I buff up your HP? You don't need it. Nobody needs it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Who knows? There we go. That should be plenty, right? In what world is this not enough to kill, right? Uh, against this specific deck. No, I'm not even, I'm not even giving you the satisfaction. This has been the biggest stranglehold I think I've seen in this. This is this is wild how powerful this has been. We're making good time. Okay, so that that round was a Brom a Brom round. I'll give him credit where credit is due. When cast cast me again onto the same targets, there's something that's okay. An ally starts a free attack. A free attack challenging an enemy. What? 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 So you don't need the attack token then, right? Either way, I'm going to do this. I think this is fine. Uh, It puts value. Oh. All right. Fine. 
I'll buff up Tark. Yes, I saw that we had the uh, the attack to, to nab. Maybe I should care more about nab since it's kind of draw. It's kind of extra draw, but it's also kind of not. All right, here we are. Sejuani. The piece of garbage, Sejuani. So Elixir of Iron is a plus zero, plus four now. Draw bird. Draw bird, draw bird, draw bird, draw bird, draw bird. They're going to draw bird. Oh, this draw hurts. Yep, they always got bird. I've never seen them not have bird. The good news is... What the hell, man? The good news is... Question mark. He waits for the good news. The good news is we have we have Mr. Terry. What is happening? You're just this is this just gets to happen. So if that that doesn't you only pass on two of it, right? Wait. Wait, you pa you do pass on both. Even though okay. Alright. I mean I'm not against that. Wow. I didn't think that, that would quite work in that way. Boy, if only that was permanent by now. Okay, well, we, uh... That's a 5-5. Five, five. I think we have to suboptimally do this. Or this feels, this feels suboptimal to me. But... I I don't think it is. We do have quick attack, so that's, that's that. Um, all right. Here's the here's the reality of the situation. We gotta assert dominance here. To preserve beauty and protect all life. We gotta assert our dominance here. We can't take damage, which is actually kind of bad for Mr. Stefan. Terry and Stefan. So that's a that's a first strike, so that's not gonna matter. We go where the war mother peace. This should be permanent. That should have been a permanent buff too, so awesome. Okay. You own what you take. God, that is just annoying. All right. But can you float? I could certainly try. Copy the last spell that you cast on only me. You, you're terrible. Only Protector. me. Climb well, and good luck on your journey. You peace. You absolute peace. You absolute peace. Why did I do that? I just I gave him an extra. Right. Yeah, that was silly. Just a little farther. So what does this look like? For so we don't take damage, so like This is this is worth it anyways. Have you met my shield? Do I just put in the bird just to put in the bird? Everyone okay? Unyielding. All right. It's it's worth it for the for the big old value across the board buff there. Oh, you son of a gun! Screw you! I mean, I don't take the damage, but like... God, that being on the board now is just very annoying. Alright. Oh, God. Tark is a 17-13! Oh my god! Me too! I also... This is so satisfying. Wait, should we... 
We can't do it as a response to combat, so we literally have to. Oh my god. No me. No me. Oh my god. This is hilarious. I just I want to heal him so I don't get it like a surprise a surprise whoopsie doopsie smack into the face there. All right. That's fun. You you can't play one card that outweighs that value, right? You sure as hell can, can't you? Okay. I think I think this should be fine, right? I think we should We just yoink you over here? This is fun, yes? And then the frostbite we'll we'll see. This shouldn't matter though. <laughs> Oh, they have to have three or less health. Oh, that's not... That's that's going to become not as good. Well, I guess this is probably the worst fight for that. that that's left. All right. Still is a stomp. That Tarek at <laughs> versus the Sujuani. I out sujuani Sujuani. Oh, man. That was good. Oh, that was good. All right. What do we got? When you summon an ally, give it Challenger. When you damage an enemy, reduce its power by the damage dealt. Ooh. Challenger this round. With our buff, that's permanent, though. That sounds like that could be fun. Barrier? Spell shield? He's got first strike, so barrier's not that important. Uh, spell shield sounds kind of fun for Tarek, so he doesn't get just removed. Spell shield on Braum is very annoying, though. I think the question is, who do we want more of in our deck? Also, Tarek getting um, plus two extra attack, though, is actually really good, too. Since he's got quick attack, going up to five immediately, I, I'm gonna, th I'm gonna say that some spell shield on Tarek so he does not get removed. Because the next three fights, as far as I'm aware, all three of these fights have um, those direct damage spells, and that would be the number one way that I see things going very south. Obviously, it only protects us from one, but you know, that might be enough. Give me a give me a bird. Okay, that's fine. Well, we actually do get a draw couple here, so maybe we'll get lucky. No. Oh, actually, we draw three. We're gonna start burning cards because we can't play anything. We're gonna draw two. Oh, here it comes. Take from the rich, give to me. It's fine. Check out the goods on this one. I'll take I'll take three damage. It's a bummer, but like. Sure. I'll keep him alive. Because this this makes it so he takes damage twice, so he gets extra extra buff. But he's only gonna have he's gonna only be missing one HP is how it's gonna shake out. Oh my god. It's so good. All right. Each life a rare jewel. Fix me up with a new grabber, will you? I just made you one. All right. So, if we can do this, that is a KO there. He's going to get tough. Oh my look at how many different buffs Tarek has. It's hilarious. Submit. What's that you got there? Oh, okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. He may die. Like, he probably is going to have some kind of removal. But Take Heart is going to be 
good stuff. Alright, so he does not... Okay, well... <laughs> that is certainly, certainly spooky. We have to we have to hard counter this exact situation. That's all we have to do. Like there there's cooler things that we could play there. There's much cooler things. But I think that's the smart thing. Do it. Oh. You're giving that evasive? Why? I, mean, I can't do anything about it, but why? Oh, you silly robot. Waiting for that to get evasive would have been better. Oh, well, I'm, I guess I'm really happy to know that I blocked that now. Otherwise, we would have just taken 11 damage that we could have done nothing about. That would have sucked so bad. All right, so we have a lot of burst stuff that we should probably be playing with. It's fine. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. We have to do it this way. Ah. Ah, bring it on, mister. Unyielding. Stop this foolery. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would go as far as to say that was certainly a misplay, though. Oh shoot, dude! No, that sucks. That was a ah, that was a misplay. I was under the mindset that we still had Challenger, but that went away. We only get it permanently. That that was a misplay. We only get it permanently if we have out of the way. Ah. I don't want to chance it. What? What? Okay. Ah! That is weirdly clever by the bot. What the hell? That was weirdly clever. Because now I, I hate this position. Oh, I thought he was going to attack for sure. Cool. I'm glad. I'm really glad he didn't. Oh my god. To protect this is funny. Have you met my shield? We should be friends. So we don't the buff does not go over there. Oh. I thought it would for sure. I thought it would. I know that he's not damaged, but I guess I guess it fizzles since Braum isn't damaged. Interesting. You're letting me do the nine. Also very interesting. My invitation is right. Okay, so yeah, it has to be a follower. I would not say that that's like that great a value. Doing this before you lose it. Whose turn is it next? It's his. Menther does not work that great on his turn. I'll save my mana for spells. Oh. I'll save my mana for spells. Stop! <laughs> Stop! This value. This value is just insane. It's like, what if my thing, but the entire game and turned up to 11. It's crazy talk. All right, we just need, we need blockers. You, you're That's just Protector. it. Climb well. We just need things on the field. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could Stop it! Try. Stop it! Stop it! We're gonna take so much damage because of RNG right here. This is so annoying. But what are you gonna do? The, the good news is we should just like win. 
Why are you doing this? Do you have an answer? Stop it! Oh! 15 puff caps on 16 cards. I think they misunderstood how busted this would be in a in a situation where your deck is a lot smaller than normal. Riot! Ugh. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna, like, we're just going to lose so much HP just because, like, we're gonna get RNG slapped by the mushrooms, and there's nothing we can, we can't counterplay it. We let, we can't counterplay that damage. That damage could just be there. We could just have to deal with it. All right, um... just one one missed opportunity of value here if we don't do that we need one of these these fools to get overwhelmed thanks there's two damage I can't counterplay there's two damage I can't counterplay Oops. There we go. This is just about getting that raw overflow value now. Okay, who are we yanking? Have you met my shield? Actually, that's fine. He can kill me with a two damage spell. Yeah, he could do that. Uh, because if he blocks here, then I get like a huge amount of overflow. Yeah, I guess I don't know. What do I really care about? I guess I want to block him so that he doesn't block my overflow as hard. I guess. This is a gambit. I also want to make it so we can't be killed via spells here. All right. Big money. I hate what I see here. St are you serious? Oh my god! Stop! With the direct damage, mister! I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Oh my god. Okay, well at least he gets the gem. No, I was gonna say we, he gets the gem so that garbage is up his deck. But yeah, so here's what sucks. We have to draw at least four more cards that are all going to potentially have mushrooms on them. One, two. That's two damage that I can't do anything about. We got lucky there. I... Okay. This <laughs> is kind of funny. Uh, all right. So plus four. 16 Sometimes I see her just needs warm spot. I don't know that this is a good idea. Eh. What's the be the best case scenario is that he has something in his deck that'll make or in his hand that'll make us both take the damage. Oh. No, I forgot he was going to get that. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we play we play Brom in case he somehow has a unit to play here. Please be lucky. Please be lucky. Please, 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 please. Nice. 
Nice! Oh, thank God. All right. I should put buffs on, but... I really, I really should have put buffs on. That could have gone so sour. I forgot he had a card that lets him summon a unit at burst speed. All right, so that was very annoying. Uh, not because, like, there was no point where I really felt like we were being overwhelmed by him on the board. But we just had to take that. We just had to take all that damage, uh, which is a bummer. Uh, oh, well. I don't want an additional copy of the Alpha Wild Claw. All right, guard bots are spooky. But they have a lot less guaranteed damage. They just ramp up on curve very aggressively. If you can't kill them early, the amount of value they get every turn is is it's actually like cr really crazy. I'm, I'm fishing for the bird. I'm fishing for the bird. No. It's like, what? It's like you see that plus one thing, you're like, that is a lot of value early. Thank you. That's a lot of value early. But if you don't have a target to put it on, then it's not actually value. I've read all about this. Okay. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I'm extra concerned. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Give me a spell, please. I need a spell so bad. All right, we've, we've lost. We've lost, I think. I'm pretty sure we've lost, just because... Oh, I, I, I keep on forgetting that that guy exists. I keep on forgetting that that guy exists. That helps. That helps. That's two less damage that we would take. And maybe they, they won't want to attack because of, like, bad value. Hopefully. I don't know. Do they care about that? I need blockers. Probably should have put down Tarek, though. No. No! You attacking with everything? Let's test my theorem. Help is underway. Careful. Alright. Yeah, we, we've lost because... Not... Uh, <sighs> not really much of anything we could have done. Um, unfortunately. We just kind of got bodied. Partially, partially by RNG. Indeed, I am both. Just a little farther. Sometimes I see her. Just these walls. Okay. Good luck. Have fun. Everyone okay? Dang, if we don't have like really good raw value but like it's just a lot of units on the board unless we can draw uh, maybe our snowstorm ability that would save us yeah we're we, we've lost we just don't have the tools here Don't, we just literally don't have bodies. That's so dumb. Ah, oh, it's not, and it's not this fight that's really the problem. It was the last one. Like this, this all sucks. This is all very, 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 very bad. But it was the last fight that was the problem. We we die we die because of direct damage on spells. Oh, I really wish he would have attacked. I know that it would make no sense, but I really wish he would have. Okay. I have to do this, I think. 
He doesn't have any more space to put down units, so he has to kill some... Oh, that's terrifying. Okay. Uh, the buff-up chain is beautiful. We, we might not die. We might not die this fight. But... We'll see. I, I just can't imagine we don't just die to targeted spells. The fact that the targeting spell, targeted spells exist in the, in the game in general, it makes obvious sense. In this mode, it is very, very, very uh, tough to deal with for things that can target your nexus. Alright. So we have we have an even amount of units on the board right now. But if I put down bull, are you going to attack? Okay. Alright, well. Okay. Ah! <laughs> yeah, now if he just wants to uh, to zerg me, he could have. Oh, okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right. Is this the right order? Yeah, that's the right order. I think we might win. By nature of just like, yeah, 16. 16 overflow. We got to take the things that have the highest um, HP. We're, we're, we're Zergen, because, like, if we can't kill now, then we're in the pits. We can't kill now. He will block with everything. Another progress day. Yeesh. No. Okay. That he, it means he didn't do it to my nexus. Thank you. Thank you for not doing it to my nexus. Giving me a shot. You giving me a shot. I just need stuff. I just literally just need blockers. I need blockers and for this guy to not attack my nexus directly with spells just to just to screw me over. Nice. Why is this happening, though? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why do you do that? I feel like we shouldn't have added this to our deck. It's just too much of a, of a curve sacrifice. We do get to draw the card, though. So that that, that does help in that, that area, obviously. Uh, and, nah. All right. All right, we're fine. We, we, we are... We are good. Unless he draws... A, <laughs> he has no card that can kill, kill us immediately. Take the one with eight. All right. You should have no tool that stops me here. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now we just need to beat Victor, the guy who has target damage spells at four HP. He has he has spells that do three direct damage to our Nexus. That's... Um, it's a tall order. We need to stomp him and stomp him fast. We need to stomp him immediately. Hopefully he does not... Like, hopefully they don't play like they they know your HP. 
Wow. I should have I should have rerolled trying to fish for the heal your nexus card. I think that I think that that was the play, but I don't know. If we need to win and win hard, it's hard to deny that that is so busted right there. Okay. Okay. There's a chance. Please don't burn me down. Don't burn me down, please. question is do we defend okay yikes that, that's the spooky pretty spooky what do i do okay 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 i wish you did one more we'll take what we need to survive try to keep up you fool Okay. This, is, this could be worse. This could be worse. I bring clarity. Witness perfection, meatbags. Dazzling. Okay. We're <laughs> okay. We have extreme board control. We we really do. It does not surprise me that he let that through. It is a bummer because this is going to happen. Oh, we've lost. Ah. He wins on direct damage. He literally just uh, he just wins on direct damage. There's nothing we can do. God, we could have like if we had 10 HP. If we had 10 HP for this fight, I bet you we could have done it. There's no way he misplays this. He has one mana, he has ignition. He's obviously going to play it. He's obviously going to attack with the android. There's no way around it. Uh, Avalanche does not kill this even at base. I believe it's what? It's a 1 3 or 1 2? 1 3? 1 1 1 3. Ah, oh, boy. Can I give myself spell shield on my uh, Nexus? Again. What killed us? Mushrooms. Mushrooms in that one fight just killed us because yeah, I mean you know. You know why. Ave Maria. Maybe the maybe the I don't know. Maybe he'll misplay somehow. Maybe the maybe he'll misplay somehow. Maybe the game will bug out and I can actually block one of these somehow. No further. Yeah. My future. See, like, because the the direct damage burn. Like, let me explain why it's why it's annoying. And it's it is what. <laughs> why? Okay, so I need to kill this though. That's the thing, and I can't. Oh shoot! I can't. All right. Well, I thought we would be able to win if we had more HP, but you know what? I don't think I can because why would he block me? Maybe because we are doing like a very, very large amount of damage. Maybe he will care about that. You already have spell shield. 
Maybe he'll care about that for some reason. As a bot. There is nowhere left to go but up. Right, I'm doing it. Shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. Oh my god! <laughs> Screw you and the horse you uh, spawned upon the dang field. Yeah, it's elusive. There's, yeah, well. We gave it our darndest. We literally need him to decide that this damage is worth blocking. He's going to block this, but there's nothing we can do as a response, like as a retaliatory, retaliatory response. I'm going to do this because I need to make sure he has less health than three. Unyielding. So that we can brittle steel. If he blocks with this, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have pulled him in. Maybe the bot would have done something dumb. Okay. So it's fine. He plays a spell. As long as he doesn't play two burst spells immediately, we can brittle steal this thing. Okay. It's important that we do this right now before he gets too much HP. No, it's important that we didn't do that right now. That was a misplay. It was very important that we didn't do it then because now he can continue to get extra buffs yeah, we made a mistake. All right, we've lost. No? Frostbite is permanent? What? Oh, it has to be a created card. All right. You'll find me you I, all right. <laughs> I hate myself. I hate myself. I missed after all of that. After all of that. Frostbiting one turn early. Frostbiting one turn early is what killed me. Are you kidding me? Oh, that sucks. All of this, all of this being said, having 10 HP instead of four, we probably could have made it work. I do think so. I do think so. Seeing how the board control looked after that, I do think it was possible. I think that we just got, we got mushroomed out the wazoo. We got mushroomed out the wazoo. We went down to what, what was it like? 14 or 16 or something from that one this fight every other fight like these only really seemed bad because of where our hp was when we started this fight we would have destroyed it i i wonder like the 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 hp being consistent throughout um i wonder i don't know i'm i'm, I'm trying to figure out what i think about that i First of all, I love—I do love, obviously, that it gets healed back up to full after every boss fight. That—that that is important. Um, I think the fact that that exists, though, in this method of the one, two, one, two, three boss or one, two boss, one, two boss, one, two boss, makes it so those things that do those cards that do direct damage to your nexus that they just do in the middle of the fight, even though it doesn't make sense for like board control reasons. The fact that they do that to like. I feel like it goes kind of against that idea. It, it, it's it's weird that they... Yeah, they, they, I don't know. That they play... They play cards to reduce your Nexus HP instead of playing them in ways to help board control. Like, that doesn't feel like it makes sense in context of the combat uh, per se. But, doesn't matter doesn't matter we almost won i i made the misplay at the end that 
uh, would have bought me one more turn. It would have bought me one more turn. I, would that have made the difference? Probably not. Would 10, H, 10, 10 HP instead of 4 made the difference? Maybe. Maybe. If we started every fight at 20, would we have won this run? Absolutely. Absolutely. So easily. Uh, but that's not that's not what the game is. That's not what the game is, and we got to work around it. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today. Let me know what kind of character you want me to play as in the future. Or if you're like, hey, you know what? You suck. Stop playing this. Go <laughs> Say that too, I guess. Uh, if that is what you want to do with your time. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roblox more every single day. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time.